guys, welcome to Hello Bake. Today we're going to make chocolate macarons made with Italian meringue and we're going to decorate them like animals. The first thing we need to do is the Italian meringue. It is made with a hot syrup that cooks the egg whites. To make the syrup, add the water and the sugar in a saucepan and heat it over medium heat without stirring it until it reaches 239 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, we put the two egg whites in the mixer and when the syrup begins to boil, start to beat them at medium speed until they form peaks. When they double their size, add the teaspoons of sugar. The difficulty of this meringue is that we need to be controlling that the egg whites and the syrup are ready at the same time. We need to regulate the heat depending on how the egg whites are. When they form peaks and the syrup reaches 239 degrees, take it out of the heat. With the mixer running at low speed, we carefully and slowly drizzle in the hot sugar syrup close to the bowl to avoid splattering. Increase the speed to medium and continue beating until the meringue cools, about 9 or 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we are going to mix the almond flour with the confectioner's sugar and put it in a food processor just until a fine powder is obtained, around 20 seconds. We shouldn't leave it much longer because it will begin to form a paste. Put the mixture into a large bowl and reserve. To make the macarons, we need to prepare a pastry bag with an 8mm round tip. It can also be a 6 or simply open a small hole in the bag. If we touch the bowl of the mixer and it's warm, the meringue is ready. To the mixture of almond flour and sugar, add the egg whites and half of the meringue and mix with the rubber spatula. Gently fold in the mixture until the dry ingredients are incorporated. Add the remaining meringue and fold in just until everything is combined. Separate a little of this mixture to use it later and add the sifted cocoa powder to the rest of the mixture. If you want to make them completely out of chocolate, it's better to add the cocoa powder with the almond flour and confectioner's sugar at the beginning. Fold in the cocoa powder until combined. The next step is the crucial part of the process which is to find the macaron texture. For this, we press and fold with the spatula. This process is what the French call macaroné. The butter should be smooth and glossy and have a lava-like consistency. It should form a ribbon when dripped from the spatula. If we continue mixing, the butter will liquefy and will be difficult to handle. Fill the pastry bag with the mixture, but not too much to work comfortably, and on a silicone mat or seal pad, start to make circles about an inch as evenly as possible, leaving space between each other. You can use parchment paper instead of the seal pad, but it's harder to get the shape right. Now we mix a little the white butter we set aside and fill another pastry bag and cut the tip. To make them more regular, it's better to use a template that you can put underneath and then remove it when baking. You can download it on the link that will be in the description. Immediately after making the macarons with the white butter, we make small circles that will be the muscle or snout of the animals. After filling the tray, we tap them against a hard surface a couple of times to remove any air bubbles and to flatten them out a little. Allow the macarons to dry for 20 to 30 minutes until a skin forms and they are no longer wet when lightly touched. It can be up to one hour depending on the humidity of the region. This allows to have a larger and beautiful base or food of the macaron. When they are dry, put them in the preheated oven at 285 degrees for 13 to 15 minutes and we can start with the filling, in our case, a chocolate ganache. Chop the chocolate into small pieces and bring the cream to a boil in a saucepan. Remove it from heat and pour over the chocolate and stir until melted and smooth. Add the butter, that should be at room temperature, and stir well. We should have a very glossy mixture. Cover it with cling film and take it to the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes, and then take it out so it doesn't get too hard. We can tell when they're done by very lightly grabbing the top of the macaron and try to move it a little. If it doesn't move, it's ready. If it moves, leave it a few more minutes. When you take it out of the oven, carefully put the seal pad over a wire rack and let them cool completely before removing them so they don't break. To decorate them, we paint the faces with edible markers. A tip to make them with a tender expression is making the eyes closer to the muzzle. 
Once they are painted, we arrange the macaron shells in pairs, as similar as possible. We fill a pastry bag with the ganache. Grab a shell and fill it. We won't put too much so it doesn't come out of the sides. Take them to the refrigerator for two or three hours to have a good texture. Then take them out and eat them. We can keep them out of the fridge for three days or we can freeze them. This recipe looks harder than it really is, so I hope you try it at home because they are yummy and beautiful. See you next time!